Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for TinReady or TCAP or whatever. We're in subpart 1, which means no calculator. Question number 5 says, consider the function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4 on the domain, which is your x that you input, from 0 up to infinity, which is to say positive numbers. That's all that means. Um, this little bracket here creates a hard barrier right at 0, so you can't go into negatives which makes sense because you're going to do roots and they're basically saying real numbers that's you know they don't want imaginaries long story short anyway with that being said they want to know what the inverse is well f of x in and of itself just states that number one it meets all the rules of a function where each um, input has only one output that sort of thing um, on the flip side of it it also means that essentially it's a graph or a line or whatever where you can substitute in x and get a matching y value to start building coordinates which is to say f of x is the output so is y so all we're going to do is mix that around just because visually it's easier to see sometimes f of x and then changing it to make it f of negative 1x or the inverse function I don't know it just never works for me visually because I can get back to here it's kind of like leaving little bread crumbs for myself. So when I do an inverse, all I'm going to do is invert y and x. I'm actually going to just switch them. It's not really inverting them. So now I just need to get y by itself. Here's y, obviously. So what's the first thing on the same side of the line that's furthest away? Well, to me, it's plus 4 because it's not the square is a big deal, the 3's touching the y so they're multiplying but plus 4 is like all on its own it's ready to go anyway it's like yeah I guess plus 4 we're out of here 3y squared again here's y the square has like holds the power position so you need to leave that alone for right now and get rid of the times 3 so you're going to divide you divide the whole thing by 3 not just one or two of them And then finally, all I have to do is say, well, what's left to get rid of? Well, the square is what I get rid of, and what do we do for that? Square root. So y is equal to the square root of x minus 4 over 3. And if you wanted to make it look even closer to what the answer choice is for this question, you could do f of negative 1. Uh, f of x to the negative 1, so it's the inverse function essentially. So your answer to this one is right here. So really sometimes the inverse questions are ones that people miss a lot. Just lay clearly out your equation, identify what your the equivalent of x and y are, whatever, switch those two and then just solve like you would if you were in Algebra 1 or even in 8th grade and you should be fine. So that's it. Square root of x minus 4, the square root of the quantity x minus 4 over 3.